is TikTok going to get banned? That is a question that is asked every single year, and it always ends up being uh, no. It's a resounding no, to be honest. But this time, I think there's a, a slight chance it might actually get banned for real this time. But in the past, if you don't know, I got a couple videos that I've covered on it in the past. But the most recent one was, I want to say it was last year or the year before that. Time moves so fucking quick, I, I kind of lose track. But there is an actual congressional hearing where they actually questioned the TikTok CEO and he was sitting there pretty much trying to answer all the boomers questions about the platform technology they were asking questions they don't even know what they're even asking it was pretty much a shit show and there was really no actual progress made it was just more of them trying to find ways to sit there and clown on the ceo and get rid of tiktok at the same time when in reality they made a fool of themselves instead of actually doing what they should have been doing and for those that are wondering what they should have done they should have actually consulted with actual tech experts in the field and in the industry to actually ask real questions that they would know what the proper answer it should be to the questions that they ask not geriatric old farts who don't even know how to answer their emails or reply to anything let alone the ones who didn't even know how to fucking use google maps it's a whole rabbit hole you can look up previous hearings that have been done like with google uh and of course with tiktok they're all shit storms again it's all a bunch of old fucks who don't really know what they're asking and it doesn't lead to any meaningful impact. But enough about me rambling and ranting about that. That's a whole nother video. The reason I'm talking about this today is because it's been going around again that TikTok is in a position that it might get banned. It was to the point where TikTok is actually scared enough to now send out a mass report and this is what they said. So it originally started with a notification of saying, TikTok is at risk of being shut down in the United States. Call your representative now. And then when you click on that, then they had a page that says, stop a TikTok shutdown. Congress is planning a total ban of TikTok. Speak up now before your government strips 170 million Americans of their constitutional right to free expression. This will damage millions of businesses, destroy the livelihoods of countless creators across the country and deny artists an audience. Let Congress know what TikTok means to you and tell them to vote no. And then it gives you an option to enter your zip code and then it'll show you who you can contact for your representative. So realistically, this is something that they probably have been preparing for. I don't think that they just whipped this up last night. This was kind of like a doomsday button, just waiting for the moment if something was like this was to happen. And now it's happened, so they, they had it all set up and ready to go. Now with the wording of it being a ban, it's kind of correct, but not correct. It's in a sense of it could be banned, but they're not trying to technically ban it in the in the first steps that they were trying to go in the bill it says that the bill would give ByteDance more than five months after the law would go into effect to divest tiktok if the company does not divest from tiktok it would become illegal to distribute it through an app store or web hosting platform in the united states effectively banning it uh, even among current users so again pretty much the idea was they didn't want china or the, the chinese communist party they didn't want them to actually own the platform and that the platform would have to be sold to someone in a western state or i guess a foreign ally instead of it being owned by them if they want to continue to operate in the United States. Now, is there a chance that TikTok is willing to sell? Probably not. Is there a chance that TikTok will actually get banned? It's, it's in the air. It's honestly in the air because you got to realize that TikTok isn't just some platform anymore that is used by people to post videos of them dancing, uh, memes, shit posting, whatever you can think of the original origins of the app. That doesn't exist no more. This is an app that is now used by businesses and they spend a fuckload of money on this shit. This is part of their marketing, their advertising, and to cut this off completely, that's a big deal. And I don't think that a lot of these companies, especially the ones that are pretty much the ones with the puppet strings that because let's be real here, everybody's bought out in some way, shape or form. I don't think that they're going to go to this lightly. This is probably something there is going to be back talks behind closed doors and there's going to be something that has worked on the way so that TikTok doesn't get banned and that somehow that this is reverse. Because even though it's already been stated that Joe Biden is going to sign it if it goes through, I just don't see it getting to that point. I feel like something is going to happen where a concession is made and they're going to be like, oh shit, we're not actually going to do this anymore. No, no way. Uh-uh. TikTok, we, we had a discussion with them. They're going to do some X, Y, Z, and we're good to go. And that's kind of the outcome that I'm expecting here. I, again, they've been trying to ban TikTok for years now and nothing has ever happened. And I think that there's such so much money on the line when it comes to this platform and what companies have invested over the years that I expect pushback, especially from them. And if there's anything that the government listens to, it's companies that are gigantic as fuck that have so much money that they can literally buy out anything they want with that money. Now, do I personally care if TikTok gets banned? 
not really man i don't have a presence on there i don't have a following for those who do and actually have an actual livelihood and a business on there it's going to suck for them it's really going to be hard because now they have to try and figure out a plan to convert over to youtube shorts which everyone knows is not the same as a tiktok experience let's be real here and so that's going to affect the livelihood of a lot of people and that sucks for those people personally for me i just I don't care about TikTok. I really don't. If it gets banned, it gets banned. It is what it is. As Mudahar said in his video, China sits there and blocks U.S. apps. They don't allow any United States owned uh, services, apps, you name it. They don't allow anything on their end. So in that same vein, we have the exact same right to sit there and give them a middle finger and be like, hey, fuck you too. You don't allow our shit. We don't allow your shit. It's kind of equal trades right there, right? But the personal problem that I have with all this altogether is that the United States doesn't really give a shit about protecting users data privacy none of that they don't give two fucks all they care about is being in control of that data they don't care that the data is being collected they just want to be in and actually have that data for themselves as well too and that's where i have a bigger problem with all this is that they're not trying to push for bills or legislation that's trying to protect an american's data and their privacy they don't push for any of that look at anything they have pushed over the years the united states hasn't even tried even a little bit to try and make something that's even remotely close to the gdpr which is the european's version of data protection rights like it blows my mind to sit there that they try and go through all these hoops and hurdles and sit there and they want to get one app gone and they say it's because of all the data collections going to china and all this other shit dog all, what about all the apps in the united states that are fucking collect all our data why aren't you doing anything to try and protect our data there because that's just not fucking good either none of it is why don't you make a blanket wide thing that goes to all apps oh but wait that's because then it goes to all the apps in american soil as well too instead of just one specifically for tiktok like it to me it's so half-assed if you really care about the data and uh, privacy and the protection of americans then why don't you make something that goes as a blanket statement for all apps then? That's the real issue. This is just putting a band-aid on the problem, dog. Again, at the end of the day, this is only a band-aid and we're still fucked. I do just want to add in one thing real quick that I think was really sad is because of this whole situation with people calling into Congress and calling their representative, a lot of people apparently didn't even know who the fuck a, a, their representative was or who a congressman is or anything of that nature. They just saw that, hey, TikTok told me to call you and you need to keep TikTok alive or else, bro. You know, I, like that's pretty sad. And it really shows you kind of how far uh, education has fallen in the United States. The fact that no one really understands their fucking government, uh, who's actually in office, the representatives or anything of that caliber. Now, I'm not here to say that I'm some saint and that I fucking understand the inner workings of it because I don't. But I do have at least some inkling of an understanding of my own fucking government and who who my representatives are and what they fucking do. All these other people are fucking high schoolers and kids fucking calling them and they're like, I don't know what you are or what you do, but you need to keep TikTok alive. And honestly, that's really sad. Going through school, it should be taught at least the basic fundamentals of how the government works so that people, when they finally graduate high school and they get to the age where they can vote, they at least have somewhat of an understanding of how this shit works, where their vote goes, why it's important to vote, et cetera, et cetera. You get where I'm going with this. Anyways, I just want to add on real quick because I found it really just sad seeing that and i just i mean honestly i i'm not surprised by it but you can still be like disappointed by it as well too anyways you made this far into the video consider giving a like subscribe to the channel leave me comment below what you think have a great day yeah